A resident of the Negev area was attacked several years ago by a gang of Bedouin teenagers who tried to rob him. He had a gun and managed to chase them away. But afterwards, he sat and thought, wait a moment, I live in the Negev, they live in the Negev, soon I'm going to have children, they themselves are children. We're really interdependent here. So with a few more educators, they built a greenhouse for leadership that teaches Bedouin teenagers how to lead positive change. What is the main thing that you would like to teach them that will enable them to lead positive change in Bedouin society? I think doing what Abraham, our patriarch, did. He opened this place and invited everyone. Anyone who came or went by came into his tent and he used to serve them refreshments and on the way he explained to them why is he doing it why is he welcoming everyone why does he want for everyone to come and this way he tried to instill a new spirit in them what kind of spirit an attitude of love and connection to show them that it's good that a person can enjoy life only on condition that he builds good relations with others. The secret of the good life is to have good relations with your neighbors. What can give these young leaders the strength to lead change? Abraham, our patriarch, led change. What should they tell themselves in order to have the power to lead this kind of change? First of all, they need to see that there is the power of nature and that the power of nature is good and benevolent and that this force is within man's reach and we really need to attain it and want for it to live within us and among us. That's beautiful. What does it mean for the force of nature to live among us? By the way, they live in nature. I'd only explain to them that the Creator is everywhere, that this is something that actually they themselves know a bit and especially feel, and that let's be closer to the Creator and feel Him in every moment in life. Because all in all, the Creator is the force that exists among us. We build it through our good attitude toward each other. Yeah. We build the necessary conditions in order for this upper force to be revealed among us. I wish we could all do it. Well, I don't know about all of us, but for Bedouins, it's possible. I'm telling you, they're closer to it than we are.